What's going on guys, my name is CPK, welcome back to the second channel. Today I'm going to be playing a game called Moonlighter. Now for OG fans of this specific channel, you'll know that I actually played this game just over a year ago now. Um, I played it on the Xbox uh, a year ago, I'm now playing it on PC, still through the Xbox app. Um, but I'm actually going to start a new game, even though I have obviously, like I have a saved game that I played for two hours. I'd rather start again, because I honestly, I've forgotten what happens, honestly. Uh, normal, hard, or very hard. All right, let's just do hard. It's recommended for most players, apparently. This is the game called Moonlighter. It's an indie title, and uh, basically, from what I remember, you have a really tiny town. You go into a cave. You take stuff out of the cave, and then it spawns in your town. And then you get like, new shops, new things like that. Uh, Among the stars of night, there is a land as old as imagination. Whoa. I'm going to let you enjoy this cinematic. One night, mazes full of extraordinary treasures and deadly creatures appeared in this land. They called them the Dungeons. Strange. Ever-changing ruins of unknown lands. There's a little town. Soon a village of the slightly curious took root near the dungeons. This, na this they named Rinoka, or Rhinoka. Among the settlers, two groups shine brightest. Heroes and merchants. Glory and riches. Whoa. But the dungeons proved too dangerous. They were soon closed as too many lives were lost in their depths. Life became hard for the town, especially for the young owner of the oldest shop, Will of Moonlighter. Heck yeah. Long dreaming of opening the mysterious fifth door of the dungeons. That's right. Guess who we are. I'm not even sure what key. That looks like a J key. Did I say J to continue? Or was that supposed to be enter? I'm lost already. I'm already lost. Um, so I couldn't find um, I couldn't find a charging cable for my Xbox controller to plug it into my PC. So this time I'm going to have to use the keyboard, which means it's probably going to be pretty clicky. So I apologize in advance for that. Uh, I will find one for the next video, I promise. Uh, so this is given a tutorial. We run around like this. We dive Z, K, and J. Oh my goodness. Okay, so space bar to do a big roll. We already know about this. Uh, space bar to roll over the top of big gaps. Uh, space bar to go over the top of enemies. Oh, I didn't know we could do that, honestly. Space bar rolls up. Oh, okay, so basically, th this tutorial is all about space bar. Uh, honestly, that looks so much like the J key. It is J, okay. That's a little bit weird, honestly. It would be a much nicer game to play with the mouse. But I guess it is an Xbox game. So I'm using the Xbox Game Pass uh, Ultimate to play this on the PC. Um, because it is an Xbox game. But if you have an Xbox Game Pass Ultimate, then uh, they have a bunch of games that you can play on the PC that are Xbox games. Uh, and it would be E to drink a potion. But we're full HP right now, so we don't need one. Uh, K is a, a charged attack. I see. Well, that got me more hurt than I needed to. That opens the chest. I'll drink with this. And it's J to open these. So inside here, we have three gold runes, which we will uh, take. Is there a move all? C. Great. So let's uh, move these as well. And of course, it's L to go back. You know what? I'm definitely going to have to find a controller wire at some point. Okay, so that turns out that time was now. I went and found a controller charging cable right now. Because holy moly, was that getting awkward. So right now we have Rich Jelly, Foundry Rests, Gold Runes, HP Potions, and a Broken Sword. Um, and we're going to continue on with this for now. I guess the only problem is that I just did all the tutorial with, uh, you know, the other thing. And now I don't know the buttons. Okay, there we go. Oh, I've actually cycled weapons, haven't I? Yep, I have. Okay, great. So there's loads of things trying to kill me right now. Which is just great. Can have a little health potion. Is there a way for me to stop this? Because there's a there's a lot going on here. Okay, I can't even hit those ones. I've just jumped off the map. Big charge. Oof. Holy moly. Okay. Eat, 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 eat. I mean, surely there is no way for me to get out of this. Look at the sheer amount of things that are. Surely there is actually no way of I get out of this, right? Is this just like a thing where I'm supposed to die? 
like one of those things like right at the start of the game where they actually don't expect you to get out, but you can try for a little while if you wanna. I think you're supposed to die there. I'm almost certain. Otherwise, that's super difficult. Yeah, okay, we get kicked out. Thank goodness for that. I was like, no way is it that difficult. Here's a little old man. Oh, who's going to find me passed out? Well, I just used all my health potions. I wish I knew it was definitely going to like kick me out and I wouldn't have used them all. What a sorry looking kid, all alone now. Rest for a bit, Will. I have you now. Wait, how do you know my name? Oh, I guess because we all live in the... Uh, we all live in the same little village, so these guys all love me, I'm sure. Right. He's taking me back to my own house. I love that. Home and shop. Just in case you forgot which one you were sleeping in. <laughs> Probably time for me to wake up, right? Even as a mere child, barely you were able to walk. You were curious of the dungeons. Yes, I was. There is no doubt you carry the same obsession as old Pete, whom I do not know who that is. No idea. Morning, boy. Did our little merchant bite off more than he can manage? Uh, yes, I did. Please don't make me feel bad about it. Listen to me. The hard truth is this. You're the last of your family, the only one left to run Moonlighter. You can't keep pushing yourself like this. Risking your life on this fourth, fifth door nonsense is foolish. Just leave it. Find some artifacts and use your pendant to get out of the dungeon. And for Kratos' sake, stop using that broom of yours, you daft boy. It's dangerous to go alone. Take this. Nice little Easter egg there. It's mine from back in the day. Use it. I have little need for it now. Da -da -da -da. If you know the Easter egg, put it in the comments. Where did that come from? It's dangerous to go alone. Take this. All right. Let me go. Just let me play. That's what I want right now. That's what I want. Right. I'm free to run around. He's now given me a sword and shield. Sick. Right. Okay, so you have to open the shop each day. So if I hold A, boom, the shop's open. People will literally come in and they'll have a look at your items that you've got. So like, hmm, do I want this rock? And then she'll say, yes, she does. She brings it to the checkout. And we sell it to her for 100. Uh, the item wasn't too expensive for the item for them and not so cheap for you to lose profit. So basically it's like a dungeon crawler slash so shop sim, which is actually very, very fun. Uh, this guy's looking, do I want to pay 170 for it? He does not. Yep, so it's obviously overpriced. Yes, lesson learned. So uh, finally be careful of selling a popular item too much. If you fund the market, you'll have to offer cheaper prices. So basically as you find things like in as you play uh you can see here so like it says here crystallized energy okay it's just gonna make me put things on here for now right it's making me do a tutorial i'll show you that stuff in a second yes 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 get out of my store old man i don't even know who you are okay where bones of my much right so now if i press this and actually go over Will it let me press RT? No, it will not. Okay, so it turns out actually it was nothing to do with the controller. There's just no way to press right trigger for some reason. Who is this lady? Rinoc may not be as prosperous as it used to be, but many still visit to pick up a souvenir from the Golem Dungeon. All right, so we're going to head to the Golem Dungeon right now, which I believe is up here, if I remember correctly. So my aim for this game is to go to the dungeons on nights, and while I'm in the dungeon, is this the Golem Dungeon? Yes. So I can go in the Golem Dungeon, and I can complete the levels, clear the floors, I collect items the whole time I'm doing it. And then by the end of the night, I go home, I put the items in my shop, and they are then for sale. It's a very, very cool little dynamic. Uh, so do we now have a map? Oh no, we can't press Y in here, okay. So we gotta kill these little things, they're gonna drop stuff. Obviously we're not gonna want everything. For now we are though, for now we're gonna take everything. Um, so obviously we have a shield as well to stop people from hitting us, and we also have our little sword. So it's it's a very interesting take on the dungeon crawler uh, idea, honestly. Okay, so that thing can only hit in straight lines. So as I hit it from an angle, I'm good, which is nice. Uh, I'm not sure if there's like level ups or what, because like I said, I had two hours in the game, but I I don't remember honestly what happened in it, honest like at all. Okay, this guy's why am I why am I taking so much damage? Oh, so he dropped some stuff there, you see. And that opens up this door, which has got a bunch of these little guys in. Nice. And they all drop things as well. So for now, we're going to take literally everything we can get our hands on. I still have the broom for some reason, just in case. Whoa. Read. 
To a person of hopefully far better luck than I, my time is short. I took injury from the strange creature across the room. My pendant all but shattered from the scuffle. Check him out, though. I'd say I fared better than he. You caught me spying on him near the Guardian's room. He dropped a couple items when he fled, one of which is this map diagram. Okay, nice. Oh, old Pete. Ah, all of them linked to the giant locked door outside the dungeon. It's the fifth door of Renoka. Yeah, so you have to find the uh, all the keys and stuff. And then you can, uh, Big Boss gonna kill me, I suppose, to let them all out. Now I have to chase this weird creature that stole my stuff. Ah, uh, Big Boss gonna be so upset with little me. And then here's a picture. So if you get the four keys from the four dungeons, you can unlock the mythical fifth door. That's how it works. So, whoa. B, wait, what? What does B do? Oh, that takes me out, doesn't it? So I escaped with my pendant. Uh, I killed 11 enemies, and I got a bunch of stuff. Um, so obviously now, I'm going to go back to town. Now, I didn't mean to do that, honestly, because I was quite happy to venture to the dungeon a little more. But obviously this old dude's back at it again, just following me around. The young proprietor of Moonlighter. Yes, I did learn to use a pendant. Yes, I found old Pete. Not sure how anyone else didn't find him, because he is so close to the spawn. So now people are gonna need some things. Basically when people need to open shops, they need money and I can use the money to invest in the shop. And that's gonna let them open up. So I'll show you that now as well. Just so we've had a little look. Let's go down here. Read. Investments. So I can invest in a town. So I can get uh, Vulcan's Forge. The dungeon's too hard so I can get new weapons. Or the wooden hat. Is, your, is brute force getting you nowhere in the dungeons? Visit the wooden hat to find potions and enchantments. And then a bunch of things that we haven't unlocked yet that cost a whole bunch more. And then we can go to shops, and it's gonna let us invest in shop level one. And you know, we can get all these cool things. So y you get the drift, you get the idea. So now that it's daytime, let's uh, place some items, I think. We'll drop the price of this one because it was clearly too overpriced. Uh, I'm not sure how you increase the price. Oh, okay, so let's do, let's do 120 for this. Because they seemed interested on us. Okay, so now we're on with uh, trying to price up some of the other things we have. People don't really want the vines from what I remember. So Golem Cores, we can take both and we can put them both here. But I have no idea on the price. Uh, so I need to try and work that out. Uh, so I was pretty sure that I should be able to press RT right now. And it takes me to the materials thing. But that doesn't seem to be working, honestly. Like, even if I press E on the keyboard, which is the, e, the button I'm supposed to press, it's it's not doing anything. So I'm not sure if the game's bugging or, or what, but I have no idea of the price of these things. Like, no idea. So I guess if I just, what, guess at 100, maybe? And then if I place... Maybe some people want these iron bars. And if I put the iron bars on it, uh, you know, 50, do people like those prices? Let's open the shop. Uh, no idea if people do like these prices or not. I have no idea. Because usually you can see the, um, your journal tells you like how much you should be charging for things. And this one doesn't seem to be doing it for some reason. And I'm not sure if it's a bug on the game. Oh, 120 is too expensive, really. Okay, so that's 120 is too expensive for these. Let's bring it down to 105. That's as low as I'll go. I'm not sure how, oh, okay, this is too pricey for these as well. So you kind of got to gauge it by customer interest. So let's do 30 for those. This person was happy to pay 100 for these though. So that's 200 at least. Oh, and he's gonna take that for 105 as well, nice. So that's good. So that's a good little chunk of money right off the bat. Yep, yeah, I'm selling, I'm selling, don't worry. I've got no more items, so if she's happy with these, she's not, that's still too expensive. Wait, oh, she's still gonna buy it? Wow, she's not happy, but she's buying it. All right, I'll take it, no, no problem. Um, I mean, I don't know what I can place, really. What are these, gold runes? I'm sure I remember selling these for 100 in the past. And, uh, you know, rich jelly. <laughs> what, 30 each? I, I don't know, I don't know how much to sell them for. I don't know the answer because it won't let me check my blooming journal, which I'm sure it's supposed to let me do. I'm so sure. Who knows? Maybe I'm just wrong. 
It's 32 much for the... Oh, that, that's really, really expensive. Okay, okay. Sorry, 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 sorry. 10. There we go. Let's see if... Uh... Oh, it's a great deal. It's too cheap. The gold runes are too cheap. The gold runes are too cheap. Oh, unless... Wait. Is this how it works? Because I've now placed these, can I now look at the price? No, it doesn't look like I can. I thought maybe because I had, like, someone had tried to buy them at this price now. Right, now let's just close the shop up. Let's close up for now. we got 765. Oh, okay, yeah. So this, this is where I can look at it now, I think. So I don't have anything that I already sold. So next time I get an item that I sold, I can check on it. I'm pretty sure. Um, let's go back to the shop, uh, back to the dungeon for now. I accidentally left early last time. I didn't even mean to go. Um, so let's go back to the dungeon for now. Jump in this bad boy. See what's occurring. Um, not jump out after the first two rooms this time. Whoa. Oh my goodness. I've been had. I've been captured. Okay. So we're getting the rich jelly, which as we know now is worth not a lot. I don't know what the heck this giant hand is. Okay. Oh. There we go. And let's get on with the chest. And what is in the chest, may I ask? Ooh, artifact must be placed. Uh, yeah, so sometimes you get these things. So like I've got to place this at the top or the bottom of my bag. So this has to be at the bottom of the bag. Same for this one. But can I mix these ones with it? And move them here as well? No, okay. Let's move this back up top and then put these in here. Okay. Good. Let's keep going left while we have a little look. So honestly, like the game's not super challenging at first, but it does get quite difficult from what I remember. And uh Oh, what's this? Today marks my first steps into these mysterious dungeons. I was discovered not far from Renoka. Okay. Any number of adventurers may enter the dungeon at once, but no one will adventure together. Yes. So for some reason, no one knows why, you get put into a completely different dungeon to everyone else who joins the dungeon. Very spooky. Just some gold and some fame. Okay, it's all about the questions for me. Well, it's not for me. It's about the gold and the fame. So let me, let me have my moment. Thank you. What's this? No, nothing in here. Doesn't look like there's anything in here. No. So, absolutely no need to go that way anymore. We're going to check the upwards. Hello. Ooh. Oh, every time. Oh, um, and again, literally, as I said every time, I do it again. Pretty hilarious. Uh, see, now the problem is I have no health potions. But that's good, because these rods are worth money. Uh, the issue is not... Is my backpack really already full? It is. Can I just... No, I don't think there's anything I can do with this. No, I was going to try and get rid of it, but... I don't think I can. So we'll just do a little bit more progression through the dungeon. See if we can grab any worthwhile stuff. Because, like, gold runes and stuff are worth good money. I can always drop things like vines in a chest if I find one. Okay, so this one is more powerful, I think. Yeah. Uh, okay, there must be... Wait. I do have a health potion. Why won't it let me use it? Is there, like, something... Has my, like, button been disconnected or something here? Controls. Use potion. RT yeah, okay, but it just wouldn't let me do it. Well, let me see now. Nope, for some reason it's still not accepting me pressing right trigger, so... Uh, maybe if I, like, reset the game, it could be a problem with the actual game just launching. Uh, <clears throat> let's keep going for now. We've still got 76 HP, so that's not too bad. Okay. So there's some stuff here that I want. It's specifically the ingots, actually, so... If we open up this, store all these. These generally aren't worth much. Actually, these stones are. But these little things, like the vines, really not worth all that much. So ancient pots. Must be placed on the left or right of a bag. Same with these. Broken club. I think you can usually sell these for quite a lot of money, honestly. 
Um, leave some of the jellies behind. Okay, good. So I want these. I want most of the things in here. Now we leave to the next room. These are, honestly, these are like little jelly rooms. I think you can just go through them. You can. Perfect. Uh, I'll set him free. Uh oh. Ow. Ow, 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 ow. Okay. That was dangerous. So these things we know are worth quite a lot because the guy, I sold them for 100 and the guy like had heart eyes. There we go. Let me drink a potion that time. Oh. So these things always shoot in threes. So as long as you can get around them in like a good time, you can uh, usually get rid of them quite easily. Uh, this room is a dead end. So we're gonna go back on ourselves now. Um, so basically, once you complete each dungeon, there's like a boss fight to do. Uh, once you complete each dungeon, you can then move into the next dungeon. I've never been past the first dungeon uh, ever, so I don't know what that's like. Is that healing? Oh, yeah. Give me all that good heal. Why do our tools keep disappearing? Chambers full of precious stone are left untouched, but rooms and chests holding our most basic tools keep vanishing. Ah. So if we leave anything behind, it goes away, basically, is what he's saying. Uh oh. Ha -ha. Oh, I still ran into his sword, so it still hit me. That's a sad boy right there. Okay. Hello. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. He's big, he's big, he's big. I don't think I should be here. Ow. I don't have any potions. No. Oh my goodness. Oh no, no, if I can get hit one more time. If I get hit one more time, it's over. Bail me out, bail me out, bail me out. Oh, I had to bail out. He won't let me. Oh my goodness, it let me out. It's get with pendant because if I die, I lose all the items and it's not worth it. Not worth it at all. So I had to uh, make sure I got out of there with the stuff. Otherwise, all my hard work is for what? For nothing? I think not. So now we're going to go to the shop. Let me in. Hello, hello, hello. Right. Is it going to let me check up on any of these things yet? No? No, it's really not. You know what? Let me save it. Let me save the game and see if I can relaunch it. Oh, we also have a chest in the back, actually. Yeah, I forgot about these chests. So we can store some things in case we don't want to uh, get rid of them right now. Right. Let me let me sell these things. So obviously right now the problem is I'm trying to remember how much they're worth. Thankfully, the game remembers. Um, so I saw these at 100 last time and people ate them up. So let's go for 130 this time. Uh, hardened steel is pretty good, I think. So I'm going to go for... 200 on these and iron bars why do I have them save as two separate things I, I think these were overpriced at 30 though right so let's try this let's open up the shop for the day let's see if we can make some cash cash dollar dollar because that's what we're in here for is that still a good deal or is it too good that, that's too much okay 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 so 100 was a great deal uh, let's go for 115, right in the middle. Right in the middle of where we were. Mm, is 20 a good price for the iron bars? Wait, 30 was a ripoff, but 20 is a great deal. I'm so confused. Oh, she's buying the gemstones as well. I'm not sure how much she said they were worth, honestly. I, did, I missed it. I wasn't paying any attention. <laughs> My own fault, I suppose. Uh, you want to buy a broken club? It's 100. You want to buy this ancient pot? These are, these bad boys are uh, 50 each. That's how much they are. Yep. You want to buy some pot? Oh my goodness. <clears throat> right. Are they going to buy? Oh, the, I saw the pot's too cheap. Ooh, I must remember. I must remember. 
So yeah, I'm pretty sure I should be able to go over to the, like I should be able to press RT to go across and it doesn't let me. So right now we're gonna assume it's a bug with the game. Uh, and then when I film the next episode, hopefully I've worked it out. Um, it's still too expensive. Oh, you're still gonna buy them though, nice. That's what I'm talking about. Give me all your money. Oh, and they're both really good deals. Uh oh. Can you see how when they sell it, it like pops up with a little journal at the right hand side? That's them saying like, this is a good deal. Okay, time to close up the shop, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Right. Okay. There you go. So you can see how much I sold everything for. I made 1,480, and that is going to be it for the night. So I'm going to this episode here. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you did enjoy. If you did and you want to see more Moonlighter, then let me know in the comments section. I've been CPK, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.